Writing Excel formulas could be very tedious and a headache, but not anymore because I'm gonna show you a great tool that will write formulas for you. It will fix existing formulas and explain to you a formula. Cool, right? Let's check it out. First, let's get our add-in. So insert add-ins, AI aided. You'll get this one, AI aided formula editor. You click on add. You will get it here under a small window. And you can see on the ribbon, we have a new tab, AI aided formula editor. So if I right click, I can remove the add-in. If I click on FX, I can get this window. Then you have the documentation and the help desk. Let me just move this here so we can see better. And let me show you what we have. Basically, we have two components, cell formula and AI generator. To activate them, they will be grayed out. So for example, this is cell formula because it's grayed out. I click on it, it's gone and it's white. This is the AI generator grayed out and you can see it. Now you will have to log in with your account or create an account. It's pretty straightforward. But if you start with the basic plan, you only have nine API calls. Basically it's for testing. It's nine per week. You'll finish them very fast. I have the paid version so I can see this submit button enabled. So if you go here under your name, you can see the pricing plans. It's not very expensive. You can use the utility as much as you want for the months for $6 per month at the current moment. I have upgraded to this plan and obviously you can upgrade, downgrade, etc. All the options are here. Let's go back and let's start with our first assignment. I am sure that you are very excited. I want the AI generator for this one. So I'm just going to click on it. And here I have a table. It's called table one. If you click inside, you have table design. This is the name. And I have items, colors, and sales. I want to count the number of cells where sales is bigger than 300 and the item is equal to jeans. So in this case, I have two of them. And obviously, I forgot the formula. So let's try with a prompt. Count table one. That's the name of the table. If you have a range, you just put the range of cells. For example, A1 to A11. I'm going to say where sales are greater than 300. You see, I didn't tell him where the sales column is. And the item column is equal to jeans. Let's try it out. Submit. There you go. You get the formula. You see how nicely written it is. You have a count if S, you have the colors and everything. Now, if you like it and you want to please the developers so they don't lose their job, you can give them a thumb up. If not, this is the sum down. You can also change your prompt if you see that the formula is not working. It's up to you. But if you want to understand this complicated formula and you have a headache in the morning, you can just hover around it and just put the mouse. You can see it evaluates to two, which is correct. Now it is loading an explanation. You can see the explanation. Now, the way I prefer to do it is just to click on this comment and go to the console. So if you don't see the console, you can make it bigger. Here, it will start explaining everything to you. You see, this is the explanation. You can read it at your own time. Now, let's just make it smaller and let's go for something else. Imagine that you want to add this formula here. So I just select the cell and then I click. I get the formula. It's evaluated and it's up. If you want to add the formula in a nicer way, I can just go here. Control C. Let's remove it from here. Paste it. Press enter. And if I go back, you will see that it comes nicely here. You can read it better. If you click inside, you get the colors. Let me press escape, make this smaller. And let's try something a bit more difficult. So here I have the name of a sheet, 2023, for example, which is this one. I want to sum the sales that are in column C. In this case, it's 429. This is 2024. So I put the right sheet. And I want to get the sum of sales. Let's try it out. I'm going to say I have the name of a sheet in cell C2, as you can see here. I want to sum column C based on the right sheet name. A bit difficult to explain. Let's see if the program will understand. So submit. We get sum and indirect perfect. Now, again, if you want to understand this formula, 
you can do the same you click here go to the console and get it if you want to insert it we're going to use this technique you can also copy paste it 429 that's perfect let's do 2024 388 you get the correct answer amazing right let's go for something even more difficult i want to understand an already written formula so here i have a formula it's one if within another nested if very tough to understand here i will need cell formula so you get the formula automatically and you can understand it the same way i'm just gonna click here go to the console and try to understand what we have there you go this is the formula it is explaining everything now if you want to remove all the explanations including the ones from before you just click here and it's gone perfect and now if I want to see whether I can change this formula, is there an error in this formula? Can I simplify it? Well, you can just put the cursor here. You can see that it's underlined. And here you have a video from YouTube. You can go and watch and understand this formula. You can view the problems. So I'm going to click on view problem and I have one problem. These nested if functions can be replaced by an if s function. So there is a way I can simplify this. How to do this? Well, let's go back here. If I try to go to quick fix, I can't. So I'm just going to put the cursor here. And here I have quick fix. I have replaced by something else. I'm just going to click. And here is the new formula. You can see this is an if s formula. I can put it here. So let's just click on this arrow. You have it here. Let's check it out. You can see now you have an if s formula. It is way easier to read. And if I want to understand the formula, this is the same drill. I can click here, I can go to the console, etc. And I can also click on this one. You see now the formula is written in a way that is a bit easier to read. So if S today minus B2, etc. You can also copy paste it the way I showed you. The final example I have, and I want to see whether it knows the new formulas that we have in Excel. This is a text in A2. I want to split it by the comma. So I'm going to say I have a text. In A2, I want to split it by comma. Let's see whether it's going to return the text split formula. Yes, it does. We can just add it here and we split our text. 